by now everyone's had a chance to play with the uh, new industrial update and there's been some great videos made there but also you could check them all out but one of the things that i wanted to do because everyone's lost their lost the plot over the new electric furnaces and they're great they're fantastic they're easy to work with and you can switch them on and off and whatnot and that's not a problem one of the things i wanted to do was use a normal furnace either a small furnace like this guy here or uh this a large furnace like this one and automate the process a little bit so that i could leave it to its own devices in fact that one this furnace over there is hooked up to a shop is here that I'm selling a few things in predominantly charcoal and what happened and the price I'm selling the charcoal for is uh, different types of ore and stuff and the process is that when someone buys charcoal it automatically gets shuffled through up into some storage areas in the base and then into the furnace and is turned on by this uh, igniter now the problem that I had was because I was using uh, the uh, pass fail on the uh, what are they called the uh, transfers these things the industrial conveyor I was using the um, pass fail on the industrial conveyor to turn on the the igniter when the conveyor uh, detected that there had been ore put into the storage box up top but the problem was because I'm running the furnace lean which means I'm only sending enough wood to the furnace to keep it burning and enough ore to the furnace to to be uh, somewhat efficient they're a little bit inefficient because you can only fill one slot at a time in the furnaces the problem I had with that was that very very quickly the igniter was uh, was burning out because every because it was running so lean and basically that was done one so that i could keep control of the amount of wood that was being burnt into the furnace which also allowed me to turn the furnace off by starving it of wood but also so that if anybody breaks into your compound not that they would this is a pve server uh friend not foe if anyone's interested great server great community but if somebody did on a on a, a normal server jump into your compound they could loot as plenty of people do loot your furnaces so by running this furnace lean and only keeping enough wood and enough ore in it to keep burning and keep being productive it means that anybody who jumps into your into your base or into your compound has to uh has to sit there for hours you know stealing three pieces of uh, metal frags at a time and it's just not worthwhile so the problem with that system is that every time the conveyor hits the filter fail output signal it would ignite the igniter and that of course means that over time or ver rather very quickly the igniter fails because it, it basically just runs out of you know it wears down so i wanted to come up with a way and i'm sure there are plenty of different ways to do this people who are far better versed in in working with the electrical systems than i will know how to do this probably in a more efficient way but this is the way i came up with what i'll do is create a Dropbox here for, for both wood and ore and then uh, we'll set up a system that will ignite the furnace but only use the igniter for a few seconds at the beginning of the run so as not to keep wearing the furnace uh, sorry the igniter down so I'll just get a few things set up here now and then um, we'll jump back in and I'll explain what I've done okay so this is the build it does look very complicated but it's not it's not really difficult to grasp what i'll do is i'll put a screenshot of this at the end of the video and i'll label everything so that you'll be able to pause it and um, recreate the system yourself or riff off it and do your own thing so basically what i've done is i've got a box here which is uh my uh ore in book inbox and over here is my uh everything out and wood box so what happens is just to explain the conveyor system a little bit so the out from here out from the uh or input box goes up to this conveyor and this conveyor is set to pull maximum of three uh metal metal ore three sulfur ore or three high quality ore and when that passes when that this when that 
finds ore in in the um, box and triggers the filter pass indicator which is whoops filter fail filter pass that indicator or that uh, alert or that cable rather goes to the reset on this memory cell uh, telling the power to shift over which then clicks off the timer which powers the igniter for eight seconds that gives enough time for once this wood conveyor has been turned on if you look here so this is set to five wood only five wood at a time um and so that turns on and starts pulling wood from this box and putting it into the furnace where it should ignite with the igniter so it's given i've given it eight seconds to do that but then because that's been tripped it won't it won't uh reset again uh until the uh, until the fail occurs here and the, the fail occurs on this filter and is turned off and turns off the wood filter at which time uh, the last remaining items in the furnace burn and are pulled out into the essentially the outbox. So just to run a quick demo of it so you can see here that the uh, the wood uh, conveyor is turned off at the moment. Everything's powered on obviously except that. So if I now take let's put six ore in there just to do a test so if i just drop that six ore in there what should happen is that the uh the uh, filter will pass it'll turn on the igniter and turn on the wood filter which will then light up and start burning and it'll run until it runs out of ore um, at which time the furnace will starve because we'll turn off the conveyor that moves the wood into place and that's all our all cooked for now. And the last couple of last bit of wood will burn. Everything's moved out of there into the outbox. And then you can see there's the six metal frags we just we just burnt. It is a bit more efficient if you do if you burn multiple uh, types of uh, ore at the same time because the industrial conveyors don't um, don't uh, uh, fill the furnace all of the slots in the furnace. It's it's more efficient if you do this kind of thing because then it will move both of those into the um, furnace and burn them until of course one or the other runs out then it'll only be one uh one, one slot filled but in a in because we now have the uh electrical uh, furnaces we can alternate between using electrical furnaces uh if we aren't trying to harvest uh charcoal which the fact that this isn't very efficient it kind of isn't a problem if you're actually doing it for as much for the charcoal as you are for any ore that you can burn. And also this means that if this furnace was outside, or rather if it was even, there you go, it's turned off now. If this furnace was a large furnace and it was outside in an environment where, you know, players, other players could get to somewhat easily, they would have to stand here. Uh, they have to stand at the furnace. Obviously this contraption would all be in your base, but this could be outside. They'd have to stand and do this. They'd have to. It would be very inefficient uh, way to spend your time standing outside outside someone's base trying to yoink their metal frags. Um, you're not really. This is it? This is as quick as you can get it. Um, and nobody in the right mind is going to do that. Still, you know, it's you want to keep your your furnaces secure at least away from people being able to get to them but this is a means by which you can uh create have charcoal being created um on demand now see what you could do for this box here the inbox this could be attached to a uh, shop like i have over there and if you're selling items for uh metal ore or for any type of ore you could just have it literally pulled from the shop straight into this box by a conveyor and that would automatically start your furnace every time you made a sale and if you were selling charcoal or um or frags that could then ship straight back out using a, a second um a second uh, adapter you could then move that back to your shop so you could have a perpetual cycle basically um and i think because of the electric furnaces um charcoal may actually become uh, a viable sales product because people will be wanting to smelt efficiently 
um, and they'll be using their electric furnaces to do so. Uh, anyway, I'll put the uh, screenshot of, uh, of uh, this up and I'll label it at the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a comment. Um, check out the uh, Friend Not Foe uh, uh, service. There's a UK one and um, an Australian one. Um, really good uh, community, uh, good fun to play on. And you can do <laughs> stupid stuff like this out in the open and no one's going to harass you. All right, catch you soon.